Hi everybody feel warmly welcome to Usatility. Today is special we are on the way to see how to run Mafia City on PC, here you can display it on your screen. It takes almost no time to easily download and install Mafia City and play the game on a Windows desktop or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen. So it's time to have fun, let's go my friends. Before anything else my friends, the first thing to do is to launch our main web browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to the current URL I have highlighted in green color. Now, you can discover on the PC screen. You don't need to type anything, because there's a clickable link in the video description and the first main comment. We arrived at this point on the internet site of Usatility, at which we have an in-depth demonstration on how to download Mafia City on computer. We browse lower a little bit and just click on the, download game on PC, button. Once clicking on this link, we arrive here on the site of LD Player. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we will use to play Mafia City on PC. As you can see here we get a number of pros of using the emulator, custom controls, multiple instances, instance synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, and so on. Then, we are ready to start downloading the Mafia City by simply clicking on this button Download Mafia City on PC that I have marked in green color. Next step is clicking on it. Of course, the download takes no time at all. Voila, here is located the download. It's an executable file. What we have to do now is to run the executable file, so we click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow modifications to the system. We click yes. I reduce the internet browser to find the installation software better. The installation software is very easy to use. It contains two choices, install and setup path. I am going to show you what setup path genuinely does. We merely click on it. Therefore we realize that we have now here the path where the emulator is going to be installed. If we prefer to change this directory we need to click on this, browse, button, and therefore we opt for another directory and install the emulator exactly where we desire. I am going to keep it where it is. I simply click back. Therefore I just click install. At this moment, before you start installing that emulator, will also be possible that it's going to show us several software offers to set up on the PC. Since I do not need any of these computer software, I simply just click many times on the reject button. Fantastic. The setup begins and it's going to carry on with the download of those megabytes that are presented on this screen. The time you download it, it might possibly be more or less megabytes. The data transfer speed could go faster or at a lower speed, depending on your internet and depending on the velocity of the emulator hosting servers. Today they're progressing rather fast. The download is has been successful, so right now it continues with the setup phase. The setup requires more or less time depending on the power of your personal computer, the more powerful it actually is, the shorter the setup time and or vice versa. If we merge the download and install phase it usually takes quite a long time, so be patient. It has already completely finished on my side. At this time, the emulator happens to be started immediately. As you can see now, at the bottom of the screen, there's a progress bar which will fill up and when it attains the ending, the emulator will be launched for the first time. Indeed, the emulator is already started, here for the first time. And as a result LD Store is by default started, that is a sort of Google Play. It is not the most correct technique to set up the game, and I don't propose it, simply because quite possibly the LD Store puts an obsolete version of the game. I'll demonstrate to you how you can set up the game by using the Google Play I recommend you to do it this way. First of all, we need to accomplish is to head to the computer's desktop by clicking on this software icon that I am pointing out in green. Before we keep going, as you understand, it has made two software icons there on the PC desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player software icon is the one we are focused on. Anytime we would like to launch Mafia City on our PC, we double-click this particular software icon and launch the emulator. The LD Multiplayer app icon isn't related to multiplayer or even nearly anything like that. The truth is, it is an icon that we may almost certainly never utilize. Let me make the following step, which is actually a requirement, and that is to log on to the Google Play Store. To execute this we will browse there to, System Apps, we click on. And we'll mouse click on Play Store. As you can view the Google Play is started. Right here we must log on. Presently the moment we're right here, we must definitely execute the following step that is definitely mandatory. So we simply click on, sign in. At present it shows, checking info. It could in some cases get blocked in, checking info, and it fails to continue. 
In this case, you should attempt to connect to your account after a couple of hours it's going to almost certainly be solved. At present we can insert our email and password. The email address must be a Gmail email address and its corresponding password. As an example you may use the very same email you're using at the moment in your YouTube account. Therefore I am going to provide my information and I'll come back as soon as I have accomplished it. That's all, information typed in. And here is Google welcoming us and presenting us the twos. We must accept them simply by pressing, I agree. Then, it make us possible to save to the Google Cloud. You might let it checked and this will create a backup of the files on this device to Google Drive. I will not select it, you do what you want. We mouse click on accept. From now Google Play is started by default and immediately. Whenever the Google Play is not started automatically and you do not know how to start it by hand, I explain how to do it. First thing is to go to the emulator desktop by hitting this software icon marked in green color. So now we head to the system apps folder. And we click the Play Store icon. Ok, we are right here inside of Google Play. What we shall perform now is browse here to, search for apps and games. And then we are going to do a search for Mafia City. Generally there we have got it, we will go through the first result. At this point we come with the game app. Let's quickly simply click here on the, install, choice that I'm highlighting now in green. This will launch the software installation. At this time it is going to download and install the Android game, it might take a while or it may just be very fast. That all depends on our web connection. It's actually completed installing. Back to the emulator desktop by clicking this particular option that I'm highlighting in green, that allows you to launch Mafia City for the first time. You are now on the emulator desktop, and therefore we are on the way to simply click this brand new Mafia City software icon that has been created. Your Android game is started for the first time. So there we end up with it, I can press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to discuss the volume level of this emulator. It's here. We have got the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume, this way we won't count on the windows volume to increase or decrease the music of your emulator. As well as to take pleasure in the experience to the maximum, we should switch on the big screen, for which we have two alternatives. That is actually the first one, we simply click on this particular app icon that I am indeed pointing out in green. Then the monitor is maximized, coming with one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. In case that we like to experience the app using all the screen, we mouse click on this application icon. And we'd at present be experiencing the Android game in full screen setting. To stop the full screen mode, push the F11 key. And we'd at present end up being in regular screen setting. From now, I am on the way to present you the keys mapping that is rather useful. This way we definitely will be capable to make use of the game a lot more easily. The first task is to click this app icon. And at this time there you will have the ability to get the appropriate controls. I will let the normal configuration, but if you plan to modify that, you can do it now without having problem. I have this time to say that in some cases, when opening the game a dark screen appears, if this is like this and you discover the black screen and that emulator fails to launch, I comment a doable answer. We should hop on over, to the cogwheel. In your emulator preferences, in the advanced choice we have got different resolutions. This is the pixel quality we've currently selected automatically and we must select any of these other resolutions, for instance this particular one below. We opt for it and next click on save. It will certainly tell us to restart your emulator and immediately after restarted, most probably the emulator will start up and this black display will disappear. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is fully in our own language. In some cases it occurs that the emulator is started in the wrong language, for example, in Chinese language. And so to place it in the proper language we browse here to the cogwheel. And thus there inside of various other controls, we just click the, language, drop down. We could determine the language we want, English, Mandarin, etc. After the language is chosen, we could save, the emulator would restart, along with the game app, the next time we start it, would also be in the specified language. So now, you will find another element that we need to take into consideration, and this is that we will receive an email saying that a new machine has been associated with our Google account. It will likely check with us if we're the individuals who have connected that device. Yup, we shouldn't get worried, since the emulator is acting as an Android device. And in order to determine which smartphone or tablet is currently being emulated, we go here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. So we browse here to the, model, choice. And there we determine that the emulator is emulating a Samsung mobile. 
And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for that video tutorial. I sincerely hope you appreciated it, especially that everyone found it useful. If that is so, offer it a nice like, subscribe to my channel, and any feedback, questions or suggestions, put them in the comment box down below. You may also comment things on my Twitch channel, I do live streams from time to time, you have it below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Mouse click on any of the training videos that happens to be showing up on the list of videos to watch and see you in the next online videos. Bye.